Somebody is salvating. Uh, teacher, I wish I could just pick this I begin eating. <laughs> okay. So, please, now, what can you do? You get yourself to the materials. You have a ruler, you have a rubber, you have a pencil. Remember, all science diagrams must always be drawn using pencils. And those pencils will be well sharpened. They must be sharpened up. You can see my diagram here. Okay. Yours must be better than mine. Okay. So all these are parts of a fish. We have the nostril here, which is used for smelling and testing its prey mouth for water to enter, food to pass through gills, used for breathing, gill cover that protects the gills. Then we have scales, which act as protective measure against scratches, injuries. Then we have dorsal fin, which, have, which has spines used for protection, lateral lines for detecting sound waves. Then we have caudal fins to increase the speed to change the direction or for steering. Then we have pelvic fin. Now when you look at the pelvic fin here, okay, pelvic fin and the pelvic fin actually plays important role. We have gathered them there. They control rolling, they control buoyancy or unsteady sinking of fish. Then we have anal fin, which also helps in balancing. So you can see all these parts of the fish. Clear? Let your diagrams be very neat and accurate. Then after this, let us proceed. One to now. Can we proceed after looking at the diagram here? Let us now look at the functions of different parts of a fish. We can have that sample question there. Can we read all together? Briefly explain.